Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Danny, and this is Coffee Break with Danny. I am actually doing a first time ever video. I want to say that confidently, but I'm like only like 92% confident. I don't think I've ever done a PR haul video. You guys remember 2000, I don't, whatever, around 2018, around 2018, I really just dramatically stopped with a lot of beauty content like that my focus kind of shifted into more lifestyle and okay occasional and so i fell off a ton of pr lists and it was very rare that i would get anything i would say i'd get maybe one package a month maybe a pr haul video is a little bit i mean it gets a little bit of a bad rap because a, a lot of people think it's like entitlement or maybe it it's uncouth or in poor taste. I find them relaxing and entertaining to watch and it's also a really great way to find out about new product launches. And when I started to do YouTube, side note, you guys know there's always a very long introduction. We're just hanging out right now. Obviously I have a naked face and the reason that I have a naked face is because I was about to sit down and do a get ready with me, but I was like, oh my God, I have all this PR that I wanna put in a video but I know there's some beauty products in here and I may, I don't know why I stuttered, I may be able to incorporate some of those in the get ready with me. So I wanted to kind of kill two birds with one stone. When I started to do YouTube, the first time that I ever got PR and it was Jessie's Girl Cosmetics and like Julie G Nail Polish, I cannot tell you how excited I was. I mean, I called my mom, I called, I, I don't have that many people to call. Anyway, I called as many people as I could think of, and I was like, oh my God, this is it. This is, I've, I've made it. I'm getting free product. This is so exciting. For me, the ultimate like coveted PR ever I could receive was Urban Decay. When I got that email from Urban Decay, it was like, oh my God wow, this is incredible. They know who I am. And it's so interesting because the culture around PR and samples and content changes so much and so rapidly all the time that it's just so hard to know when it's appropriate or when it's fitting or when it's relevant or when it's actually, you know, uh, content that people want to see. So when I started, you know, in 2013, most influencers were emailing companies directly. So they were trying to find ways to get in contact with their marketing department so that they could receive product and review it for free. I always felt a little weird about that and that's probably because, you know, I have confidence issues and I don't know how to ask things, you know, in a mindfully direct kind of way. And I just wasn't courageous enough to email a brand directly. So I just kind of sat tight and hope that people would find out who I was based on reviews that I would do myself from products that I would purchase myself. So it, it's a, I, I wanted to kind of share that backstory with you guys because I know a lot of times, you know, we log into YouTube or open the app or whatever, and we've been following these people forever, but the behind the scenes is so unknown or mysterious like you don't really know what's going on so with pr i always had the rule of or i still have the rule of if you want to send me something i'm more than welcome to accept it but that doesn't guarantee that i will talk about it or that i will mention it or i'll even show it and most companies are really really cool about that and say hey you know what we're just trying to share a product with you and hopefully you like it if you do and you want to share it awesome if you do like it and you don't want to share it that's also okay uh, and it's, it's pretty cool because I mean, if it's a big company or a big brand, just the fact that they could potentially convert you into a customer is a big deal, right? Anyway, so you guys are here for a PR haul and this giant smoothie vat. Anyway, let's talk about some products. Pixie has like the best PR packaging. It's always so beautiful. It feels luxury, but not gaudy or like over the top or bougie. You know what I mean? Like it's so classy. Sometimes you get packaging where you're like, okay, I didn't need like a video, you know, a little Bluetooth chargeable video to play when I open the package. Theirs is just so tasteful and so classy and they don't necessarily use too much packaging. I mean, they do have presentation packaging, but when they actually ship it, there's not a lot of extra stuff. So these are Restore and Replenish 
Uh, Nutrify eye patches. These aren't new, right? I feel like I've tried these before. The, the pink, the blue. Oh no, these might be new actually because the ones that I've tried, I clearly remember. I have a photographic memory. I don't remember what they were for, but I tried the blue and the yellow ones. And this top is pink, so this is definitely new. You guys know how I feel about, oh, it comes sealed? I love that. You know how I feel about masks, just any kind of masks, sheet masks, eye masks, eye patches, neck patches, double chin packet, pa patches, patches, masks. Oh my goodness! It's not letting me open it! 2,000 years later. Maybe it just got glued together. Okay, so that's what the masks look like. Do you see it's like a little yin and yang in the yin yang in the middle where it's they're divided? And this is stuck to the lid for some reason. And that has a little spatula where you kind of scoop it out and put it on your eyes. Well that was frustrating, but you know what? Here's the thing. I don't want to get frustrated on camera. That's what I don't want to, you guys don't need to see that side of me right now. Okay, here is another Pixie package. Some of these items are out of the box and that was just because I got excited and opened them, but I didn't actually open what was inside. I was like, oh, it's in another box. Okay, cool. This is a sign that I need to show my pandas. So this is the Pixie in shower steam facial. Oh, oh my goodness, what is this? Multitasking self-heating mask that transforms your shower into your own spa. Acacia collagen, sage, peptides, lavender, cleanse, nourish, and plump fine lines. Oh my goodness, look at that. So I'm not sure what the towel is for. I don't think the towel is, is part of the deal. I think that's just like a nice touch because the way you use this is massage it onto face, neck, and decolletage to release the heating effect, leave on during shower, and then rinse off. Yeah, so it's just a nice little touch. So this is a pretty decent sized mask. I'm actually excited to try that, self-heating. Okay, and a little towel. All right, so two down, 7,000 more to go. Okay, uh, I put these, <laughs> it came in like an envelope, so it was just super easy to rip into. How many of you want to look super cute and effortless in a beanie, but when you put a beanie on, you look like you um, like to recycle? There are some things in this life that, you know, God doesn't give by the handful. And so I'm already tall and I should be grateful for that. I can't also expect to look good in a beanie. You know, I wish I did. I made a new mom friend. <laughs> wow. And I don't, I don't know what's going on with my hair right now. I always talk to you guys like we're like super besties and I'm catching you up. So I made a new mom friend at my boys baseball and she is just awesome. We connected at Daniel's birthday party and it was awesome. Like, I'm like, where have you been my whole life? Anyway, uh, she walked into a baseball game wearing a Carhartt beanie. <sighs> and I was like, you know, that's how you're supposed to look in a beanie. And I was like, you look super cute. How, how come I can't look like that? Like, let's, talk, let's, let's make this about me right now. Instead of giving her a compliment, let me just take it back and talk about myself. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But yeah, do any of you guys like really want to look cute in a beanie? And the whole point of this was, thank you Bare Minerals for sending the Mineralist eyeshadow palette in warmth. So this is a clean eyeshadow palette. Oh, mineral rich vegan eyeshadows made with 95% naturally derived ingredients. Okay. Well, even the, pa oh my God, the packaging is so cute. It looks like a little book. Look, it's like a little, it looks like a little journal, but it's not. It's a palette. Oh, this is giving me naked vibe. Oh, I don't think I was supposed to do. Well, then what's the point of the elastic? Okay, are we all confused together? So yeah, this is the eyeshadow. That is beautiful. Oh my gosh, it's giving me like naked palette vibes. But you saw like what, Am I not supposed to take it out? I guess not, huh? It's like a, that's a little odd. So you can pull it out or, or not. <laughs> and then you can put the little thing and make it look like a journal again. I don't know, but it's so cute. That I definitely might use and might get ready with me today if I don't run out of time and have to go pick up the kiddos from school. Warmth collection, warm up your world. Oh look, there's more uh, products in the collection. Cute, right? I still want to know what the palette's all about. All right, we got another package. No, not another. A package from Buxom. I always, I should never do this, but I actually blend those two brands together. Their packaging, their branding, it all just to me 
gets blendy together. So the High Spirits collection is so cute. Buxton is really brave with their PR packages. And by brave, I mean, you know, they can touch on topics that might not be all inclusive. Like how many people realistically like talk about cocktails and spirits and, and stuff like that all the time. So it's kind of risky, but I also like that because it's, I don't know, it gives me confidence and the products they include are also friendly. So for example, this is a distilled spirit, but it's non-alcoholic. So it's like, it's kind of flirting with the, with the line of like politically correct or not or offensive, but then at the same time, it's, it's really not <laughs> because it includes non-alcoholic spirits, which is kind of cool. I've never seen this brand before, probably because it's, it's non-alcoholic. It's from Seed Lip, but I wonder what alcohol this is supposed to be. No need to refrigerate, store in a cool, dry place, use within six months, distilled non-alcoholic spirits. Yeah, like what is, what is this? Garden 108. Should we? Should we taste it? I mean, we can. <laughs> anyway, that was sent along with these items. So it's the High Spirits collection. And I guess it's a collection that is designed around cocktails and spirits. They had one like this last year and the PR included a flask. I've never had a flask before. That was super exciting. So now I have a flask with my name on it. <laughs> Two palettes on the rocks and straight up. Look at the packaging. How cute is that, right? You got the like the low ball glass for like your whiskey or whatever, and then you have the uh, martini looking glass. That kind of looks like Cosmo to me. Or maybe it's a martini. So straight up is sort of like the pink, the pink toned. Look how pretty that is. It's like a mauvey, pinky, rose gold energy definitely on the lighter side and then you have the on the rocks look at this one. Oh my goodness okay there we go you get a better color look like that so it's more of like a plummy coppery energy that one's really pretty they're all I mean they're both super pretty and I think it would be more of a comfort zone you know like do you prefer lighter shades or do you prefer darker shades deeper or you could have both and in some ways they sort of create a palette on their own you know together which is awesome and then we got two full-on plumping products one is a cream and one is a polish one is named Whitney and one is named Negroni is Whitney a cocktail I've never heard that before because I think Negroni is a cocktail right so you got the lip cream and the lip polish this one here is the Negroni or the lip cream. Oh, and that's just a really beautiful, soft baby pink. Smells pretty like vanilla. And then we have the shine or the lip gloss. I think it's called Polish in Whitney. And this one has sparkles in it. Ooh, I like sparkles. So that is right there. So they're a little similar. This is more of like a cool tone rose. And this is just like a pink with sparkle in it. Those are really pretty. And they're plumping because they have the minty, you know, like the minty stuff about it. I used to be super, 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 super anti-mint anything. And you just can't get away from it. And I think I've slowly become a convert or a fan because I just don't even, I don't even complain anymore. You know, I just take it. I just, I just shut up and take it. The last item we got was the Powerline Plumping Lip Liner in Savvy Sienna. I love anything that's like burnt orange, burnt nude, burnt tan, like a sort of, oh my goodness. This is gonna be a beautiful all over matte lip color. Look at that. Doesn't that say Danny all over it? I love it, it's so beautiful. So pretty. I'm just going to leave that swatch on just as a reminder of I need to put this on in my get ready with me. So again, high spirits collection from Buxom. Okay, let's do this one. This one I'm super eager to try. This is the new It Cosmetics Dark Spots Concealer and Serum. So I love not dr dropping things. It Cosmetics has very, very obviously, dramatically like obviously to us like 
I'm trying to say <laughs> apparently no the word that I'm looking for is the word that means like it's so obvious to us it's so notable they've decreased like their packaging and so you see you got the two concealers and this is it if I turn this around the shipping labels on the back so it's all packaged very min minimally I guess carbon footprint less you know what I'm saying so this is the new Bye Bye Dark Spots All-in-One Concealer and Serum. Instant coverage and com convenient dual-ended applicator. It has hyaluronic acid, caffeine, and niacinamide. I love when products have caffeine. So it has a doe foot applicator and a kabuki brush. Basically the premise is it covers like a concealer and brightens like a skincare. Let's see what colors we got. Oh, these don't even come in packaging. That's awesome. I thought these came in in boxes but do you see it has the barcode on it and it has that sticker where it kind of has a little hole punch so you can tell if someone's tampered with it like the temper evident so I don't remember what colors um, I received right on the top it literally says right on the top medium neutral and medium neutral they're both medium neutrals but one's a 31 and one's a 33 look at that so you don't think I'm crazy isn't that crazy no. Isn't that interesting? No. You know what I'm saying. Yeah, it comes with doe foot applicator and a little kabuki on the end. I tried a product that was similar to that from Urban Decay. You guys remember, if you saw the vlog, you know what I'm talking about. And I did not like that. I did not like the combo of, well, first of all, I don't like when I get sticky stuff from labels. Oh my gosh, it's like one of the worst things in the world. I know there are worse things. Let me just have my moment. Crisis averted. So, oh, this feels nice. Yeah, so you guys remember the new Urban Decay product that I went out to buy at Ulta if you saw that vlog? Oh no, are we doing this again? Yeah, so do you guys remember if you saw that vlog? The presentation looked very similar to this. Uh, it had the kabuki on one side. There's nothing to see here. And, let's see. Oh, that was not full of finesse, which is on brand for who I am as a person. Oh, that's really nice. Oh, definitely not my color at the moment because I'm tan. But that is beautiful. I love the formula. Oh my goodness. You know which formula I did not like? The one from the vlog that I keep talking about. All right, so I'm definitely gonna use that. I might just use that. If one of those matches, wait, which one was the one I tried? Okay, I, li I tried the light one. So the other one, there's still hope for the other one. So I'll try that one. I might be able to just use it as spot concealer, like right here. Where's my, there we go, right there, my little battle wound. I got another battle wound here. So anyway, I might, might have to do that. All right, I have this one upside down on purpose because there is a giant label on the front. This is from ColourPop. I can't tell you the last time that I got anything from ColourPop. ColourPop is one of those brands that if they notice you do not plug their product, they stop sending you stuff. So I was very surprised pleasantly happily surprised so thank you uh, to get the Alice in Wonderland collection they also don't send like the same PR to everyone there are some brands that send you stuff based on your reach so if you have small reach they'll send you like one or two products if you have a bigger reach they'll send you more products if you are you know viral a viral sensation you'll get everything sometimes when a promotion or a campaign or a launch is like a really big deal they just mass, you know, they, they do like a flood campaign and just send it to everyone. I'm wondering if this is what they're doing with the Alice in Wonderland. It's actually really cute stuff. When they do these really big collabs, they include all of their sister brands in it. So like ColourPop is also Fourth Ray and what's the other brand? Ugh. There's a few brands within the ColourPop family or umbrella and so they kind of include everything with these really big launches. So like we have this little mushroom, it's a fourth ray, which is like their skincare brand. And that is a lip mask, look how cute. And then this is a pocket hairbrush. And this is through the ColourPop branding. And then we have shadow sticks. And I think they reformulated their shadow sticks. So we got three, let's just open one. So we got three other shadow sticks, you got Alice, the Cheshire Cat and the Mad Hatter. Look how cute the packaging is. It's just so gorgeous. We're gonna do Alice, obviously, because she is the main character. Oh, you wanna come see Alice? Come here. Come here, I'll show you Alice. Oh, that's beautiful, Mern. Yeah? Oh, you're gonna wag that tail real hard like that? Do you wanna see it? 
Look at, let me show you. Come here. Come here. Come here. Are you being shy? Oh, this way? Are you just doing a perimeter check? Yeah? So, look how beautiful that is. It almost has like an opalescent lavender tone to Oh my goodness. This reminds me of Hope. Do you guys remember the eyeshadow that I did in my quad with ColourPop? So do you see the shift? It's duochrome. It's like an opalescent lavender pink duochrome. That's really pretty. It's giving me very, uh, look at, do you wanna see it? It's giving me, what is that event in California where everyone goes and it's like dancing and music all day and you get full of sand and people just pretend to enjoy it but they really don't. They're just showing off their outfits. You know what, Coachella. It's giving me like Coachella vibes. Look at that. Isn't that cool? So pretty. Okay, then we have two lip duos, just specifically in this package. I'm not sure what the whole collection entails. You have Alice and the Queen, the Queen of Hearts. All right, let's open Alice again just to keep it on brand. So we have a lipstick and a lip gloss. Really? The oh, I opened the Queen. I was like, really? Alice is the, this is the Queen's color. <laughs> Do you see the, how dark red that is? Oh, bless you. You don't want to open the queen, right? You wanted to open Alice. I know, me too. There we go. That totally matches what we opened initially. So you have the lip gloss and the lipstick. I'm excited to see what this lipstick looks like because, oh, okay. I was like, oh, am I going to get a, I love the color pop formula of their lipsticks. It smells pretty too. So that's the lipstick called Most Curious. And then look at the lips, the lip gloss. It looks just like the shadow stick. Okay, ready? There we go. Oh, 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 all right. Stick factor. Stick factor. Oh, that's definitely a topper. That is a topper. Or if I had a baby girl and she wanted to play with makeup, I'm thinking at like, I don't know, maybe seven or eight. Maybe a little younger. Maybe I'm, I don't even know. I would probably let her play with stuff like this. <laughs> with all the sparkles. Okay, uh, you guys saw the queen. And then there's two secret ones in here. I'm imagining, you know, some color shock shadows or just eyeshadow palette. All right. Oh my goodness. Press powder palette. I can't even imagine what this would look like. I can't, if you tell me Alice in Wonderland colors, I can't, I just couldn't, I couldn't come up with a color story. And this is what ColourPop came up with. So their color story for Alice in Wonderland is this. I still can't see it, but I also do like it. I really do like it. It's a really nice variety too of like mattes, metallics. And they have that, look, the common theme of this opal lavender color, which is kind of cool. Although the, this color down here is really calling my name. Nice. And these two colors, those are such good choices for a palette because you can use them as, you know, transitional, transitional, transition shades. You know what I'm saying. How many times do I say you know what I'm saying? All right, and then we have powder blushes. We got the Queen and Alice. We're just gonna open Alice. Stay on brand here. Well, it's really just to help me focus. So that's what the packaging looks like. There you go. This part of this movie was my least favorite part. I cried when I was little when she was trying to get through the doorknob and she couldn't and she was trying to eat the little piece of mushroom and she get too big and she get too small. Oh my god, it was, I got so anxious. <laughs> First reminder of anxiety. Okay, pink, obviously, on brand, cool. I like it. It's a very beautiful, I want to say neutral pink because it's leaning cool, but it also pulls a little uh, warm. I think it's just that fine line right in between. You guys, pink blushes sometimes can be super hard, especially if it's uh, if you're not very familiar or confident in, you know, your use of cool versus warm. It can be so overwhelming. Or like you'll put on a lipstick that's cool, like a cool pink lipstick, and you're like, what the heck? What's going on? You know, it's like so confusing. We're gonna skip into the EOS one because. I gotta open it top secret because there's a sticker on it. When I got this package, I mildly freaked out a little bit. And if you guys have been here for a while, you know how I feel about the whole shaving the leg situation, shave creams and things like that. So this is their cashmere, I believe the EOS like cashmere collection. Three new products, 
stunning branding. So stunning because it looks on brand, but like just a level up. You know what I mean? Like it's true to brand, but just looks a little bit more luxe. So basically what this collection is, is like all you need to have like luxurious legs. You have the cashmere pre-shave scrub. Can you see? Okay, there we go. My light's a little bright in here. It's raining outside, and so I'm trying to, I'm trying to be artificial everything. And then we have the shave butter. I can't imagine this is any better than what I'm already obsessed with, because if they can top that, I might freak out a little bit. And then the post-shave body cream. What? I wonder what it smells like. I mean, because that's important, right? Oh my gosh. It smells like vanilla cupcake. Oh, that's nice. So it's a three-step process and they kind of just break it down for you. They're like, here, you got to exfoliate, then you got to shave, then you got to lather up, you know, or smooth up, s smooth, smoothen up. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, part of the PR package too was cashmere leg warmers. I'll take cashmere anything. At this point, like I'll take a cashmere sock. Cashmere is just so, and it's something that I will never buy for myself. I just can't, I can't do it. But once you feel it, you're like, mm, I really wish I hated this or I was allergic to it because it feels so luxurious. So thank you EOS for that. Okay, moving on. I combined two Hemp's PR packages. I wanna say thank you specifically to Hemp's because they are so thoughtful. They literally never forget about me. They had this collection that they launched where their lotions looked like those teddy bear honeys. You know those honey, honey, like actual honey that you eat but it comes in a little teddy bear container. And it was lotions and all of them smelled delicious. They were awesome. So they're continuously working on new, better, limited edition collections of humectant products for your body. So the, I can't remember which one was with which. Okay, so this one, I was like, yes, I definitely need to try this because the older I get, the more sensitive my skin becomes. And Daniel, my eight-year-old, also has really sensitive skin. So the Hemp's Fragrance-Free Ultimate Hydration is something that sounded like we could really benefit from. So this is something that's just like heavy duty, hardcore hydration, fragrance free. So it's not gonna interfere with any of the other stuff that I like to put on my body. And they were so kind enough to send it with the Brooklinen sheets. Brooklinen is that brand that you see all the influencers promoting, like they have discount codes. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't curious to try it. I've always wanted to try it. So when they said, hey, um, let us know what size your bed is so that you can try Brooklyn. And I was like, okay, I can do that. I got the uh, fitted sheet and the pillowcases. We may have to get the flat sheet. Some people don't use the flat sheet. Did you know that? Like some people buy bedding a la carte because they don't use the flat sheet. They don't like it. You know who does that? Co-parent. Co-parent has never used the flat sheet and it just, it's very confusing to me because it's so hard to wash a quilt or a blanket, you know, it's so much easier to wash sheets. Anyway, side note, <laughs> they also sent it with a sleep blend, True Dream? What is this? A drink for an all you can eat sleep buffet. Melatonin, chamomile, GABA, magnesium and cherry juice. Vegan non-GMO. So I guess it's a sleep dietary supplement. I, I just, I don't, I don't play with melatonin. I don't, I don't play with it. I don't flirt with it. I don't use it in anything. And it's just one of those supplements that, fun fact, you can't decide when it hits you. So, you know, melatonin is marketed to be the pre-bedtime gummy, vitamin, whatever. So they say take it before bed and then it helps you sleep. But some people don't metabolize it that way most people don't in fact and it could actually hit you like the next day 10 12 hours later so it could hit you in the middle of like math class <laughs> that's not something i find reliable and then the second collection they sent was the flowering trees collection and this packaging is really cute i don't think i remember them doing anything like this in the past oh 
Each one of these bottles plants a tree. This product plants trees. One tree planted. Every tree makes a positive impact for nature, wildlife, and people. So it's a three cent collection. They're a limited edition and you have magnolia, cherry blossom, and pear. Okay, on the count of three, can you guys tell me which one's the one I'm gonna open? You can probably guess. You can probably predict it. You could probably guess. It's obviously gonna be the pear one. I gotta smell it. All right, let me get a little off the side here. That smells super good. Oh yeah. Oh, it's giving me all kinds of middle school, high school memories. That smells really pretty. I love that. So not only is it a beautiful scented limited edition collection, but it's also planting a tree. Uh, yes, please. Okay, do you guys remember not too long ago, I did a mini haul inside of a vlog within a vlog. If you watch my vlog, it turned into a haul. <laughs> And I talked about how I purchased the new Sol de Janeiro body oil, which I'm about halfway done. In fact, it's something that I thought I would put on my Sephora VIB sale cart. Well, I'm glad I haven't pulled the trigger because look at what I got. I haven't received Sol de Janeiro PR in ages. So this is very exciting. This is basically a kit that's gonna get you ready for like spring break or summer. It has a little step-by-step -step process. So it says you exfoliate, you depuff with the oil, massage with the tool, and then apply the lotion. I actually use the oil and the lotion interchangeably. So like I'll use one or the other. I can't tell you that I've noticed that I've like become super firm, like gumby or tough to the touch. So I can't attest to that. What I can attest to though is it smells amazing, it hydrates wonderfully, and it doesn't feel greasy. So a lot of times we feel kind of nervous to put oil on our body. You're like, oh my God, I'm gonna get it on my clothes, on my bedding, on my everything. But it it feels so comfortable and it doesn't, it just doesn't have that, I don't know, if you cook, you know, when, when, you're, when you cook and you, your stove gets oil splatter and it just is a nightmare, it's just gross. Anytime I think of a body oil, I think of the kitchen. And so for me, it's like a very oxymoronic sensation. But this one, man, it is awesome. It smells really good. It's super hydrating. It doesn't feel greasy. I can't, like I said, I can't attest to the, I don't know why I'm putting it back, to the firming aspect. But I've also been using the Boom Boom Cream for ages. And this is also a firming, I, like I said, I'm not firm to the touch. Uh, <laughs> And then the body scrub. I think I want to say I've tried this before. Maybe I have. I think that with scrub for me, scrub is one of those things like mascara or there are certain products that I just automatically get drugstore because like sugar scrub or rather scrub to me is either like ground up pits, like seed pits or seed pits. That's two different things. You know what I mean? Or a uh, sugar, salt, pumice scrub so yeah it's very hard to make them really different from each other i think i i think i've tried it I, I think i've tried it i think i liked it but i i think it was one of those things where i was like okay i'm not gonna i'm not gonna spend this much on a scrub but gosh i just made the mistake to smell it i made the mistake to just go and stick my nose in it and now i'm like maybe i do need to buy it maybe i do need to buy it and then you get this tool so the tool is a de-bloat body massage tool. What? How do I use it though? Can you show me? Oh look, scan the QR code for a lymphatic drainage tutorial. Maybe I haven't been using the oil properly and I can become firm like a Gumby, you know? I haven't been doing it right, you guys. Do not follow me for life advice because I don't read before I talk. <laughs> and before I ended on this, just don't ask me how I know this, but I realized it has a, a, a sweet flavor to it. It's not edible. You're not supposed to eat it. And I actually don't remember how I know that, but I remember it tasting sweet. <laughs> Maybe I should wash my hands. This I am so bananas about. So Live Tinted. Live Tinted is a brand that I've been wanting to try. And for some reason, it just falls out of my mind to try. And so they sent out an email. They sent out an email. They sent me an email not too long ago where they're like, hey, we'd love to send you our products. See if you like them, try them out, let us know what you think. And I was like, 
don't mind if I do. I didn't know the extent of the variety of products that they had. For example, this is a three in one moisturizer and it's a mineral moisturizer, which you guys know how I feel about mineral moisturizers. Like, wait, what is it? Why is it three in one though? Okay, if you're gonna say three in one, you gotta tell me what the three in one means. Oh, that's nice. There's no white cast. Do you see that? It comes out like a really light, 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 light skin tone color, but there's also no white cast, which is nice because it's zinc oxide. You guys, Anytime you have a mineral sunscreen, you're about to look like Casper. So you better blend, 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 or you're gonna see it. So that's really nice. And it smells like mineral sunscreen, which I like. I like to know that it's actually mineral sunscreen. Ray's Copper Peptide Eye Masks. Look how cute these are. And the packaging is so fancy. How cool is that? Man, I'm gonna have eye masks galore. I'm not complaining here. I need to have an eye mask party. You guys wanna come? <laughs> okay, and then we have Hue Lip. Okay, three Hue Lips. These are liquid lip creams in persistent, bossy, and determined. I love, 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 love when brands do like empowering names for their products. It's cheesy and corny, but I am literally cheesy and corny, so I love it. Obviously, I picked like the nudie brown one to try, but if it's a lip cream, is a lip cream a like a lip gloss or a long wearing lightweight liquid lip cream that delivers a soft matte finish, comfortable enough for daily wear, has jojoba oil and hyaluronic acid. Apply onto lips. All right, should be probably running out of space over here. Oh, that is sexy. Oh my gosh, did you guys see that? It was like a swipe. Look at the pigment for one swipe, just one swipe. So it is a lip cream, it has full pigment, but it's comfortable. Oh, that's nice. Let's just let it hang out there and see how we like how it feels or if it dries down at all. Okay, I wasn't gonna open the other ones, but now I have to. This is bossy, okay, bossy. Like a mauvey rose, oh pretty. Just a classic pink lip right there. That's crazy, I'm not used to stuff being that like smooth on first swipe. I don't know, maybe I've just gotten used to the oils now that when I see pigment I get excited. And this is persistent, I love that, persistent. Okay, I'm gonna put that one right here. Oh, uh, that was one swipe, I was gonna go again but that's just a compulsion I have. Why am I, why am I so contorted? There we go. That is stunning. One swipe. Wow. I'm so used to like habit. I was gonna go <laughs> extra swipes. Then we have the brightening eye cream. What? Is it depuffing? Rich hydrating eye cream, immediate brightening and depuffing, targeting fine lines and wrinkles. It has niacinamide, vitamin C, and caffeine. Okay, I'm definitely gonna use this. And I'm for sure gonna use it probably as an eye serum and then go in with my eyes, with my eye cream because, look, it has the cooling tip. Oh, the formula reminds me of the Ulla Henriksen. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, this would be a really nice eye serum and it smells good. Or maybe, no, I'm smelling the vanilla cupcake. <laughs> Sorry, lip tinted. The vanilla cupcake is the EOS. That feels nice. I don't know why I keep smelling it. I'm trying to smell the cupcake. That feels really nice. I would definitely use it like a serum and then go in with a moisturizer because you know how I feel about my scaly eyelids. And then this was the very first product they ever launched. I believe, I wanna say confidently, this is, this is what put them on the map, the Hue Stick. So this is an eye, cheek, and lip product. It's like a multi-stick. You remember NARS? I think NARS was probably one of the first pioneers of this invention where it's like one product. Oops, sorry. It's one product and you're supposed to be able to use it in many different places. So like you can dot it here and use it like a cream blush. You can use it on your lips as a lip color or you can just blot it and give your lips color. I don't know how you would use it on your eye. I do have questions. Buildable, blendable, weightless, matte. Oh, clean and vegan. Well, there you go. That is a huge bonus for this brand. I hope I don't smash it again. It was already smashed. I didn't smash it, but I don't want to smash it even further. So I think that's it, you guys. Thank you for hanging out with me for so long. It's been like an hour. So I'm really glad that I waited to do this. No. 
I'm really glad that I did this before the get ready with me because now I have a ton of to play with. Like, what am I gonna do? Is it gonna be Alice in Wonderland? Is it gonna be Live Tinted, Buxom, Bare Minerals? Am I gonna make a cocktail? Like, the world is my oyster. I will try my best to list and link these products in the description box below. Keep in mind, a lot of them are limited edition collections, so not sure if I'll be able to find them for you if I'm posting this video way too late. But I know some of these items will definitely be available, so I'll make sure to list all these items in order in the description box below, including my dress from Amazon. All right, you guys, that is it for this video. I love you so much, and you know what to do. If you found this video useful, entertaining, and learned something, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, this coffee break is over. Bye, guys.